do you have? Like the three top tips that you can maybe leave us with for the Democratic Party to just kick some ass and and uh, defy the odds in this coming election. Because this is why I'm even bothering to stay on the air. Um, number one, Democrats, find your freaking spines, okay? Stop trying to be their friends. Stop trying. They said they might let me in their club if I'm nice to them. No, they're not. You know, they said they might attack me up as a liberal if I vote for this. They're already well going to vote you. If you if you are too stupid to understand how the game is played now, get out of the way. There are a lot of strong Democrats out there who are willing to fight. You and I mentioned Joe Biden has delivered a platform to win on just with the freaking infrastructure bill. Yes. But as well, his, his the way his response to the pandemic, which was you know, we were in a nightmare zone when he took office. The, the fact that there's there's there's, uh, you know, this 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 unbelievable element on the other side. I'll get to that in a second here. But, you know, you have the you have a good platform that's populist. You have delivered. Democrats have delivered in these two years already dramatically. Yes. And you, you 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 have a good fight. Just don't. Well, I'm not really if you're not a Democrat, get the hell out of the way. If you're, if I'm trying, if you're just trying to, I'm a Republican that's running as a Democrat, then the Democrats shouldn't take you. Find your spines, go and attack. Number two, the, the thing I mentioned earlier, find five people, start today, call up your friends or, or just go to Facebook, go to social media, go to Instagram, whatever. Say, is there any of my friends out there who did not vote or generally do not vote or have never voted? And I'm just asking for a reason. I'm, or I'm, I'm just asking. Just don't don't put a reason. I'll just I'm just asking, and and find out when someone comes back and says, "Yeah, I've never voted." Ask them the question, "Why?" and and why why they why they don't. When they come back and say, "Well, because uh, I don't think it matters," it does matter. And the problem with humanity throughout the history is that generally people don't get upset until their rights are taken away, and then they all of a sudden get infuriated. You had a huge red flag with Trump, especially when they jammed through the, that last Supreme Court nominee and yes. they jammed them in there. They loaded up the courts. You should be furious. It shouldn't take, I mean, right now, Republicans are frantically hoping that the Republican Party doesn't rule on abortion until after the election, which they probably won't because the, the Republicans will have enough control of the, the Supreme Court. It shouldn't take that something like that happening for you to get inspired. The, the fear of that should basically say, okay, I need to go do this. And if they do then do get rid of abortion and say January of 2023, you shouldn't sit there and in October of 2024, completely have forgotten about it because there's this really cool new show on Netflix. Oh my God. No, you, you cannot allow reality to get warped. You, you see what's out there. The last thing. So, OK, once again, find your spines, be good Democrats Two, find unregistered voters, get them registered, get them to the polls. Make sure you follow through. That's it's not just a well, good enough. No, get them registered. Make sure they're registered to vote. And then on Election Day, get them to the polls. That's two. Three. Outline the fight that's ahead of us, not, oh, they're going to be against this judge or they're going to be for more tax cuts. No, no, no. This is the ugliest side of humanity that exists. Racism, bigotry, homophobia, transgenderphobia, Islamophobia, misogyny. This is the ugliest of humanity. We are not facing off against someone who just disagrees with us on tax cuts and, and rates on that. We are facing off against an evil enemy that has popped its head up over and over and over again throughout the history of this world. And generally, if you look at where the Republicans are today, they want to go even further. They want the full fascism. There are a lot of people that stormed the Capitol on 1-6. Do you remember that? Oh, they yeah. tried to overthrow American democracy itself. And I said at that time, if that does happen, that's the end. Democracy won't come. You can't come back and then say, well, this time we'll have a fair election. No, it's over. It's done. This country ceased to exist as it does. 
you have to under make sure people understand what is at stake here. It's not just a disregard of this. And if any, any Democrat looks at you and says, they're the same, you tell them to shut the hell up. They are not the same. They're nowhere close to the same. There is a right and a wrong here. And if you can't see the difference, well, then you're a Republican. And that's just that. I'm against racism. I'm against bigotry. I'm against hate. I'm a Christian. I'm a Christian. I'm a capitalist. I'm not for where this country is going right now. And if we do not make a stand now and every single stinking election, whether it's off year, midterms or regular presidential, well, Amen. then, you know, we're all just going to be screwed until the end of days. So there you go. My three things. There you go. Uh, Be, that, you know, Democrats was... with spines, get everyone registered to vote and make sure you make sure everyone understands what exactly the fight is right now in this country.